I was born ready, said someone really cool at some point. But today I'm ready to shop at the Marazzo's Thrift Way, Thrift Way, and I will find my way only with 70 bucks for the whole week. $10 a day, size for 70. Let's do this stuff. All right, so in there there's a uh, two pounds, so uh, if I get three, it's gonna be a pound of their beef. So yeah, so now we're at the, um, roughly around the 40 bucks here, yeah. so we have a $30 to spare. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need two cans a day. So Morazzo starch eggs. So about five every morning. I guess I will need three, three dozens. Large. Grand format eggs. Yeah, so 40 for, so that's all the protein we have for the week. It's pretty good, right? Five eggs in the morning, a pound of beef, and two kinds of tuna a day. So um long grain rice. Um, rice I think is my favorite carb ever for uh, digestion, uh, building bass, cutting, it's very it's digestible, I like it, and I, I like the, the the beef and the rice mix. I've been using that for a long time, and um, yeah, long grain. I want oats in the morning, and I want them quick. Quick oats. That's a pretty good price, three bucks for this. This is gonna last me the whole week. 11 servings, yeah. Oh, and for the extra oatmeal, what you can do is, is use them in a shake, maybe in a blender, with the with the whey, Universal uh, Whey Pro. Mix them with that, or directly in the shaker, shake it up. So uh, oats are always useful. Great add-on, high in fiber. Oh, actually, this one's uh, a little bit cheaper. Cereal extra virgin olive oil, because um, when we got the protein. We got the carbs, let's not forget about the fat, and that's a good fat, because all we got so far is saturated fats. Let's balance it out with mono saturated fats, virgin olive oil, and I've been using this for so long, since the beginning of my career, since I was 16 years old, and I add it to my meal after cooking it. After cooking it. Hot sauce, because my, you know, my big on a budget thing, which actually size on 70, because um, uh, my option is better because it's actually more real. Because if you buy all this stuff, like, who's gonna eat like a bland beef? Maybe Roman. I won't. Well, I would if I really had to, but when you have the choice, you can use crystal hot sauce. The choice is crystal clear. Use crystal hot sauce for your beef. Good opportunity. Opportunity. Okay. Soy sauce. I love soy sauce, and I add it to my eggs and the rice. And um, I use the less sodium one because uh, it's actually half a gram of sodium compared to the other one. It was like a gram of sodium. But um, this is already enough sodium, so it's reduced, but <laughs> it's plenty of sodium. Go. And uh, it's gonna be Kukuman. Kukuman soy sauce, the best. We all remember the war of Kukuman in 1904. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Man, I want some cinnamon with my oatmeal, man. I'm not Jamaican, but I say man when I want my cinnamon. Actually, let's get the brand store, the store brand 
Oh, there it is. Save a buck. Two. Same thing. Ground cinnamon. Come on. We have a couple bucks left. And uh, why not add some flavor in the morning? As a, in banana form, fruit. Because we don't have any vegetables. Because vegetables suck. You know, if you have enough budget, the first thing to go is the vegetable. But fruit is a good option. You know, 69 uh, cents, 69. One of my favorite numbers. Cents a pound. So uh, let's get some. So um, we first got the protein. Uh, five eggs in the morning. Uh, half a pound for a uh, meal each, so one pound of beef a day, two cans of tuna a day. We got the rice, the oatmeal, we got some hot sauce, um, and the condiments as far as cinnamon, stuff like that, olive oil. Uh, I think I'm under 70 bucks. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think I am under 70 bucks. So uh, there's only one way to find out Let's go to the cashier and pay the food. Five bucks, five bucks to spare. You know, in Canada, um, some bars, ten bucks a lap dance. So I got half a lap dance. One knee, baby. Five bucks to spare. But we got the goal. The goal was seventy bucks, size for seventy, ten dollars a day, to uh, build muscle and gain mass on the diet. And we did it. Ground beef, tuna, eggs, rice, olive oil, hot sauce, kikkoman sauce, cinnamon, oatmeal. I think we got it all and bananas so now time to go bananas and cook all the food size for 70 is a new project we have here at universal it's like big on a budget but better at universal style and it's ten dollars a day to gain muscle gain mass so um this is what i did so you saw the grocery footage now here's the cooking footage so let's do it if you want to beef up you gotta eat beef so uh here I am cooking this beef. I like to um, put a pan over it to uh, keep the moisture. So, because uh, all the all the meats I do that usually when I cook them, because if you cook them air air free like that, it's gonna become dry, and you don't want dry meat. So keep a pan over it, and uh, it's gonna keep the moisture in. And uh, we have a pound of beef here, so I'm gonna cook half a pound, well the whole pound for half a pound for each two beef meals, and it's gonna be. Um, Two out of the four meals we're gonna have today. The other one's gonna be tuna, and the first one eggs. And uh, so five eggs in the pan, and um, eggs they they cook real quick, Julie. So you gotta stay uh, beside them. To uh, I like them scrambled. It's the most simple way to do it. But um, if you have a real good um, pan, uh, over easy is a good too, and uh, it's not as uh, dry to eat. But um, scrambled eggs are good, and I like to add a soy sauce. And then people don't do that, the soy sauce with the eggs, but it's actually a trick. I got a, well a trick, a way to, to eat them, I got from, um, what's his name, uh, the guy from uh, Hawaii, he's Asian, anyway he's Asian so he uses soy sauce, <laughs> so um, what's his name, oh, shit, I got well, I remember, Chris Faldo. Chris Faldo, and uh, one DVD I like is uh, the Chris Faldo DVD because he showed some kitchen uh, tricks in it and uh, I got the Kikoman soy sauce from him so Chris Fowler, thank you for that and it, there was a really cool uh, kitchen uh, chicken recipe in there too
But he uses soy sauce on the eggs and I got that from him. So thank you Chris Aldo for the Kiko Man trick. We all remember the Kiko Man War from 1904. I like to use the rice cooker for my rice because uh, usually it's very quick and easy. But today it's just easy because it's pretty long. Um, but um, yeah, you just add the rice in the rice cooker. You add double the water and you press cooked white rice. Pretty simple, right? You know? Shit. Tuna. Two cans of tuna for one meal. And uh, soy sauce is a great add-on to the tuna. Hot sauce. That's what I said? Soy sauce. Hot sauce is a great add-on for the tuna. And uh, here we have the crystal hot sauce, which is a cheaper version of the Frank's Red Hot. And uh, people, uh, sometimes they, they eat the can like that and you can just open up the can put this, the, the hot sauce on them and just eat it straight out like that you don't have to put them in a fancy plate like this like we did today but tuna is a great uh, add-on to any diet because it's very lean very simple just open up the can eat them so um, you can put them in the lunch box if you're a student put them in a gym bag and it's made of metal so it won't like spill over un until you open it yourself so um, very useful and practical in um, all kinds of uh, situations. Here the water is boiling for the oats and I'm gonna use it right now and pour it in oatmeal. Or maybe not. I am the boiling water for the oatmeal. I like to use boiling water for the oats because it's more natural and uh, organic than the microwave. And for real, I don't know why, but uh, every time I, I use microwave with oats, and sometimes it's a uh, hit and miss for it to be very good. And sometimes very, it's too chunky, too dry, but uh, with this, I just add it to the quick oats. And it's like, it's just like the perfect uh, amount every time. And you can um, mix it up and it's like hot cereal. Actually, it is hot cereal, it's oats. Cinnamon, just for the oats. There. And uh, to add some more taste to the oatmeal, it's gonna be like almost a dessert. What is that? Oh, you... Slow down, fingers. Oh, there you go. Wow, see that? What the fuck is this green shit? Oh well. So a cup, a manly cup, per meal. That's probably like a cup and a half, two cups though. There we go. It's pretty cool, right? There we go. So let's line up everything and see what we got. So here we have uh, for ten dollars, for ten get small land, you know, get tanked for ten, and size for seventy dollars a week. So um, we have the couple of bowls, the banana, the five eggs. Uh, we have half a pound of beef. We have a cup and a half of, uh, of rice. Two cans of tuna here with the, the rice and more beef and rice. And um, that's four meals. Then you have a universal shake here. Uh, you should take it around the workout, you know. There's uh, plenty of ways to take it. So uh, 
that's another story. But uh, yeah, there we go. Size for 70 with uh, Antoine Vaillant from Universal. So uh, let's see. Uh, beef and rice, that's my favorite. Yeah, it's working. Soy sauce. I like to use it with the rice and the eggs. You can use it also in the tuna and the, um, and the beef too. But for that, I'd rather use the hot sauce right here. You know, condiments are important. And um, I actually was able to include them um, in my uh, 70 allowance for the week. So, um, the salt, I mean, everybody has salt. You get salt everywhere, so I didn't buy salt. But the salt I like to use always to uh, salt up the meals, the rice and everything, the eggs. Sometimes they even put salt in the oatmeal, yeah. Uh, but for the oatmeal, cinnamon, I think is the best. Cinnamon is um, fiber actually, so you can add all the cinnamon you want to anything, but I, I use it for the oats, with the banana in there. And um, for the fats, all we have here, if I don't add this, is saturated fats from the meat and the eggs. So we gotta add some good fats. Well, celery is good, but we gotta balance it out. We gotta add some mono and saturated fats. So that's why I add this after the meals are cooked to my rice and uh, meat and, and um, all the various ingredients there. So make sure you, uh, you add at least one tablespoon of uh, olive oil. And I've been using that um, that type of fat for since I'm 16 years old. It's my first contest. I, it's the fat I've used the most in my whole life extra virgin olive oil you know i use it so much it's not even virgin anymore <laughs> okay so uh, i guess that's all i have to say about uh, the different uh, condiments we have here